one. Barbie's nominated for eight Oscars this week, and including Best Picture. And tomorrow, the Barbie doll is turning 65 years old. A spry 65. Yes. Lifestyle expert Lindsay Myers just went inside the famous Mattel headquarters to celebrate. What's up, Lindsay? Oh, and her pig. Hey. Hi, guys. We got to celebrate. It's got to be about the pig. And I, of course, send you something delicious. What do you think so far? What is this? Amazing. It's Malibu Barbie cocktail, of course. It of has course. to be pink. Fruity, you know, it's bright, it's delicious. I mean, cheers to Barbie. 65, she's Salute. looking good. Salute, Salute. To that. You, uh, you got invited on a very exclusive tour of Mattel headquarters, never open to the public. Uh, how'd you score it? I still can't believe I got that opportunity. When Mattel <laughs> calls, you come running to the Barbie headquarters. It was unbelievable. We're talking about, so Ruth Handler created Barbie in 1959. She wanted to have a role model for girls. Like she didn't think there was enough out there. She named it after her daughter, Barbara. And she wanted to create and tell girls that they could do absolutely anything they put my mind to. And Barbie has not stopped. We're talking about, she's been on the cover of Time Magazine. She went to space. She's done about every career you could possibly <laughs> think of. She is not stopping, but I got to see a sneak peek behind those doors that no one gets to see. And I'm so excited to be here to show you guys exactly what I got to experience. This is so cool. So the Oscars are Sunday. Did you see any of the Barbies from the film? Ah, I sure did. Of course, they make Barbies for everything. They made Barbies for all of the characters we loved in the film. I love the film. I rewatched it again. But the oh really cool thing is you get to have all the different versions. I loved all the Barbies, especially the wardrobes. And of course, Ken. I mean, I loved Ken. This might be as close to Brian Gosling as some of us <laughs> might get. You can go get your Ken right now. <laughs> you, you even got to make a doll, right? How are they made? You, you guys, the process is insane. I was blown away. They've been doing it forever. So I started with creating a 3D model. Okay, look at, look at the lips. I'm sorry. <laughs> they definitely are not going to ask me to start working there. <laughs> but I had so much fun seeing the process, hand painting every head. Right there, you'll see the hair. Someone manually makes and puts the hair on every single doll. Wow. I was blown away at the details so every minute hundreds of barbies are sold 75 a year that's a lot of barbies yeah and the details and the personalization that they do for each one of them i i was just blown away at what they do that's the mm. hair and stuff what about the wardrobe barbie's got quite the style what did you learn from meeting one of the stylists so Barbie has a stylist. I mean, is that not everyone's dream job? How cool is that? She gets to play with clothes all day long. So she really gets inspired by runway, about trends. You know, so just as we do change, so does Barbie. So Barbie has a massive following on social media. A lot of it is because they really try to make it authentic and real. So right there, as you see, we're working on her, her looks when she goes to Canada, but she physically goes to Canada. So she takes, they take Barbie, put her in all of the situations and they dress her appropriately. But I thought it was so cool and so real that she gets experience that it's not fake. She actually travels. She's, she's Barbie on location. <laughs> What's up with the dream house elevator? Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, who does not dream about being in the home? Like Malibu home, come on, Barbie home. That was insane. I, I worked on my Hey Barbie for a very long time, but I was I thought it was so cool that you got to feel like you were really immersed in there at Barbie's home. First of all, mm. the elevator was the coolest thing, Mario. When you, that was like unbelievable, okay? Yes, yes. Uh, wait, there's two new collector dolls. Who has been added? Oh my gosh. Okay. So Barbie, we have two new ones for 60th anniversary. This is massive collector item. So <laughs> you need to get it right this second. If you can get your hands on it. The really cool thing about it, as you can see the black and white dress, which is stunning and handmade and the details are crazy. It was taken off of, you know, that famous bathing suit that she wore the black and white one. We're talking about from the original in the 1950s, that bathing suit look that we all love. They wanted to like get inspired and really honor that look. So that was what the dress was after. But if you, I mean, it's going to be really, really hard, but that is a massive collector's item that you all can get right now. Wow. Well, that, uh, that's quite the weekend uh, you had right there, Lindsay. I'm sure you're all pinked out. Uh, thanks so much for catching up with us uh, to celebrate Thank Barbie's you. birthday. I hear you sent over some birthday cake, look huh? Look at this cake oh, right here. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Happy 65th. Bring out wow. the cake. That's amazing. You're going to take this home. For more great travel tips, wow. you can visit our friend Lindsay's website, Get Lost with Lindsay. Thanks, Kev. Great job. Always awesome. We'll be right back. Thanks, Kev.
On the next Access Daily, Brad Pitt, Penelope Cruz, Sizzle, and Chanel. But who's at the top of our style list? And we got the hunky country duo from the hit band Parma Lee. Next Access Daily.